Hello, everyone, and welcome to the industry research webinar. My name is Hiromi Kubo, business and economics librarian at Fresno State. The purpose of this webinar is to introduce you to some of the most valuable library databases and other information resources that will help you to locate and, and reliable information about industries. If you have any questions during or after the webinar, please feel free to contact me and let me know. I'll be happy to answer your questions. All right, today we are going to go over the uh, four databases, library databases uh, for finding information about industries uh, that are also listed on the screen right now. They are Ivy's World database, Mergent First Research Database, Standard and Poor's Net Advantage Database, and Value Line Investment Survey. These databases are accessible through the library's homepage uh, for uh, the, the current Fresno State student, faculty, and staff. However, even if uh, you are not uh, currently Fresno State affiliated, you, have, uh, you can still use these databases when you come to the library and use the computers in the library. We have many computers, uh, those are open to the public usage. Also, since these databases are all very popular databases, many university libraries and public libraries subscribe to these databases. Check with your local uh, library and see whether they subscribe to these databases and available for you. Let's start from the library's homepage. This is the Modern Library's uh, homepage. All databases available are uh, listed under this A to Z list in an alphabetical order, of course. All right, sorry about that. Let me show you one more time um, the homepage of the Henry Madden Library. This is the homepage of the Madden Library, and databases are uh, listed under A to Z list in an alphabetical order. Or if you go to the subject list, or databases by subject section, you find different subject areas, such as business, and then you will see the list of all the uh, subject-focused databases. In this case, uh, all databases listed here are strong for finding information in their business areas. Another way uh, to find uh, databases, particularly uh, databases that are good for finding industry-related information, are listed under research guides. The research guides are listed in the research and course guide section. Scroll down a little bit to research guides section and go to research guides. Again, you see the list of subject. Let's go to business. And as you see, there is a uh, guide, research guide for industry research. Here. Or you can simply go to the general business guide, business research guide for finding um, research guide on different areas of business sections. In this case, again, we go to the uh, industry research section. I will start from the Ivy's World database from this uh, business research guide. 
Ivy's World is a database uh, that offers us a um, the many detailed and updated um, industry reports, particularly good for a small and niche industries. This database covers uh, over 1,200 different industries in the United States, as well as some industries in China and other international industries. To find a specific industry, we can simply go to the industry report section of the US or China or global. And then it lists up the uh, categories of different industries, as well as the individual uh, industry list. Or we can simply use the search box to find a specific industry. Let me quickly show you. Um, let's see. Well, let's do a search. Um, I will uh, use water supply as my first sample search. When I type in um, water supply in the search box, the database is still searching uh, the reports, but it will show the list of the industries in the United States, in China, in the world, as well as in different states like California. Right, here you go. On the top page, we always uh, see only five top industries uh, for each category or each geographic section. But when you click on more results, then it shows all of their uh, over a thousand uh, reports that comes with the uh, water supply. So let's take a look at water supply and irrigation systems in the United States report. Um, usually, the uh, IBIS world gives us reports of uh, 30 to 50 page long, very detailed uh, report. But the first page is always like a summary of the uh, entire report, starting from the definition of the industry, and then supply chain information or related industries information. Whenever you click on these links, then it will navigate you to these uh, individual sections as well. For instance, under related industry, I see electronic power transmissions. Click on that. And we are now in the report on this specific industry. But let's go back to the uh, water supplies industry section. Then the major players uh, section usually gives us the list of the uh, major companies within this industry, but in this case, there's no major uh, players or major companies listed. And then major activities uh, followed. And major industry, again, additional resources, industry jargon, and growth story follow. The next section starts with the industry at the ground, or I'm sorry, the key statistics of this industry, such as the revenue size, annual growth, profit, wages, and number of businesses. We see the charts and lifestyle structure, uh, sorry, <laughs> industry structure uh, comes with right cycle stage, revenue, um, volatility and industry assistance, concentration level, and other information, and then executive summary. The next section, industry performance, is uh, about what currently going on in the industry with key external drivers and current performance analysis and revenue uh, information. 
the following section, industry outlook, is more about the future, the production and uh, projection of the uh, industry. In the products and market section, the major products and major consumers or target uh, potential and target uh, consumer groups are listed here with the analysis of them and the major market. Sorry. Competitive landscape is a helpful section, particularly for entrepreneurs who want to get into this business as a new business owner. It tells us uh, the concentration of this industry, a uh, key success factor, and key challenge, not key, yeah, uh, major challenges for particularly for new entries. Major companies, again, usually this section gives us a brief but detailed information about uh, the major players within this industry. In this case, obviously, uh, there's no uh, major companies in, so, uh, but it actually gives us some information about the, uh, the, some of the uh, companies within this industry. And then operating condition section follows the revenue and regulations and policies, industry assistance, followed by the key statistics section. As you notice, the statistics gives us not only the past 10 years, but also the coming five years projection. And the industry and financial ratio follows. We can look at this uh, industry report in by section here. It's frozen again. Oh. <laughs> Right. Or if you want to see this, <laughs> it's not. <laughs> there we go. Great, thank you. All right. So again, we can look at this report by section, as I just did. Sorry about the uh, technical issues we had, but we are back now. So let let me continue. So um, we can take a look at this report by section, or if you like that report in one page or one, one page report, then we can look at it using this PDF option. And then it will give us the entire report in one page or one, you know, um, consecutive seat. Not going to go over this one, but let me um, maybe quickly one more thing. See, let's look at, uh, let's do search using food processing as a, another keyword. And let's look at it, what um, industry reports come up. Go, since food processing is a, Big industry, we got over a thousand matches in the US wide uh, industry report section, such as mayonnaise production, seasoning source, and con condiment production, and others. And the Californian uh, industry report section, we see um, 
again uh, over 100 let's take a look at the snack food production in california mm. oh here it is good as you see the uh, format of the report is exactly same as the nationwide one and um, but it's uh, specifically about the state of california again industry definition gives us what exactly this industry means or this uh, industry includes covers and then um, supply industry and demand industry are listed with related industries key players this time we see multiple key players here and then similar industries and other information as well. Same way, uh, we see key statistics, market share, and key drivers, and other information. So again, Once you access this database, please take a look at the, uh, or what industries are included in this database and then figure which one you would really want to um, look at and include in, into your own report. Okay, this is Ivy's world. Let's move on to the next database, uh, which is Margin First Research. Now I'm back to my uh, business research guide and click on the link to the margin first research margin first research is a another great database for finding detailed report about a wide variety of industries okay here we go Again, simply use this search box to find the specific industries you want to uh, find information about. Or click on Browse Industry Profiles to find the list of all industries uh, available in this database. Let me do, um, let's see this, uh, what we can find regarding uh, Food processing industry. What I see here is food production. Let me make it a little larger. All right, food process product, uh, machinery manufacturing, fruits and vegetable processing. That sounds good. Fruit manufacturing, seafood processing, and others are listed. Let's take a look at fruits and vegetable processing as an example. There you go. So what's included here uh, are first always industry overview or summary of this industry. And whenever you click on view all industry overview or view all information and tab, then you will see the most uh, the detailed information regarding the section. Let me go back. And then news and social uh, media section follows. This is one of the newest addition to this database, but it gives us pretty in interesting um, news and social media uh, types of information. And then quarterly industry update, industry forecast, critical issue and challenges, and trend, industry opportunity, executive industry and financial information follows. Again, we can take a look at each individual section um, by, uh, in this way or by clicking these um, tabs here. Or if you want to see all the information in one seat, click on this fruit profile. And then it gives us all information included in this uh, report in one sheet. So again, um, production, salesman, market, finance and regulation section, international and global insight section, 
or gives pretty good information and analysis of this um, this industry, which is very helpful for us. And then industry growth rate and news and social media section. Uh, quarterly industry update, indicator, forecast, industry drivers, and critical issues and business challenges, and how that follows. Let's do one more research or uh, search using different a different um, search term. Let's say we want to find industry report um, on the renewable energy industry. There you go. Again, since renewable energy industry is a big industry uh, which covers many different types of uh, industries, so we see different industries here. Let's take a look. Mm. Crop production, nuclear power generation, fossil fuel power generation, electric power generation, trans um, transformer manufacturing. Okay. Let's take a look at solar power generation. Here we go again. The format is same, but let's see. This time I see like industry growth rate is high, which is interesting. And then top tweeters. I'll list it here, indicators and industry drivers. Industry web page, website, excuse me, uh, section gives us a, 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 a further information. Right. So this is called Mergent First Research. Mergent uh, is a company that produce, produces multiple different types of business-related databases, such as Mergent Online, Mergent Intellect, and First Research. Mergent Online is pretty helpful for finding companies' information, particularly publicly traded companies, large companies. So in case after you do a industry research, you might want to find more information about major players, for instance, then uh, use Mergent Online database, which will be very helpful finding um, specific information and very detailed and updated information about each individual companies. Margin Intellect is good for finding privately owned companies, another good database for finding uh, companies' information. And, uh, um, and they are all linked together. And so um, just remember that we uh, that there are those good uh, databases for companies' information as well. All right, let me go back to the business research guide. Next. Oh, and here it is, margin intellect and online uh, listed here too. Anyway, uh, let's move on to a database called Standards and Poor's Net Advantage. This database uh, is pretty good for finding uh, extensively detailed uh, report on over about 50 different industries. So the, uh, in terms of the quantity of the industry or the number of industries this database covers is much less than like Ivy's World or Margin First Research. However, uh, you will see right now that uh, each individual reports are very detailed. So let's take a look.
right? Now, what do we see here? Um, uh, data about each individual industries already. Since this database is um, um, covers uh, the, or the information particularly good for investors, and uh, so information about stock markets is one of the strengths of this database. However, um, as you see up here in the tab, company research screening and market and industry surveys. This is this industry surveys is the uh, one of the best uh, sections within this net advantage database. Let's click on that. Here you go. All right. Oops. So different industries are already listed here with the date that uh, the report came out. So uh, as I see, um, elect elect electric utilities is the newest one just recently came out uh, in February 5th. So just a few days ago, let's take a look at this report. As you see, each report comes with 50 to 70, sometimes uh, more page long uh, report and updated quarterly. And what it covers as industry overview, trend and operations, key industry ratios and statistics, and then company analysis, sector overview, and some other information. Let's go through executive summary uh, comes first, and then industry overview, industry weight, and um, sub-industries are uh, listed in the chart, and analysis follows. The major companies within these industries listed here, and again, the analysis comes industry revenue and its uh, historical uh, data listed here with charts industry profits and then expenditure capital expenditure excuse me and industry balance sheet photos In this variation, and industry trends, competitive uh, analysis, operational information, and others. So, as you've seen. Uh, major thing within this report is analysis of this industry um, by section or by types of information with uh, data uh, in charts or um, what tables. So the approach is a little bit different from the reports we've already seen in the previous two databases, but um, additional good um, information we will find here. Let me cross that. And yeah, we are in the industry survey, that's good. Again, um, for instance, uh, food processing or food uh, products is uh, all types of food processing industries are included in one report, food products, uh, products industry, so, which is the downside of this database because it covers only uh, about 50 different industries, which means uh, it doesn't really go to too detailed of, or too niche industries uh, 
to uh, when you are you want to find information about. However, you can see the uh, little broader but still very detailed information about each individual industries. Okay. Let me yeah, just for uh, example put processing. Let's see. So processing and products, I should say. So let me show you. Here it is. So as you see, it stopped. <laughs> All right. So the um, the this industry, food products industry, covers both agricultural products and also packaged or process uh, food processing both all together. And uh, the companies also uh, a variety of companies covered within this industry. And that information, but again. This is another good uh, information source for uh, industry analysis. All right. Going back to the business research guide, I'm going to um, show you the last one called Value Line Investment Survey. This database is a little bit similar to the standard approach net advantage. Uh, Majorly, this database was created and updated for uh, investment uh, purposes. So, and it covers approximately a hundred different industries within this database. Show you right now. All right. The front page is called dashboard. So um, as you see, for investors, this is really good to uh, list up the, your own, you know, the companies you're interested in investing and those kind of, uh, and then the news sections that you can actually modify this page as you like. But for like us uh, who want to find industries information rather than individual companies, we want to go to browse research section. and then uh, pick a industry or industries under industry screens section. Here we see about 100 different industries listed. Let's see. Mm -mm. Anything interesting? I'm Coming to almost the bottom. All right, water utility. Let's take a look at water utility. When you open the industry screen page on any, a specific industry, uh, in this case, water utility, uh, we see first the list of the companies uh, and whose stocks are available in the market. And each individual uh, links for these each individual companies. But what we want to see here is the industry report the entire about this in entire industry. So take a look at the industry analysis section. Click on the industry analysis from here. Then uh, what we see here is a one page brief, but most updated and re detailed uh, analysis of this particular industry. Again, the analysis was done and created for mainly for investors. However, it's very, very helpful for us uh, who wants to start business within this industry or who, um, or researchers who want to do research about this specific industry because it comes with a, uh, the most updated uh, data and analysis regarding this industry. 
So including the challenges and what's going on within this industry and um, and then a, a brief data or the chart. All right, let's go back. Let's take a look at maybe one more different uh, industry here. Industry screens again. Let me scroll down a little bit. Here you go. Chemistry, electronic. I think I saw food. Yeah, food processing. Let's take a look. All right. Since food processing industry is again it's a huge industry, we see many, many uh, companies. Some are big, some are um, middle size. So, well, let's, let me quickly show you what we find regarding each individual companies. Um, like I saw, okay, catalog. This is what you will find um, regarding individual companies, not industry, but companies. So the safety and timelessness and finance strengths uh, regarding the stock, their stock, and then company um, analysis and other financial information about the company and the score rating. That's pretty helpful for investors. But anyway, let me go back to the industry section. So again, let's take a look at the industry analysis in the page format. Here you go. Again, pretty updated um, information with detailed analysis regarding these industries uh, you find in this database. Right. So this is a value line investment survey database. So I showed four different uh, databases, library databases regarding industry research. But um, let me quickly show you one more thing, this, which is not a database, it is a open source. Uh, by the U.S. Census Bureau, which is called Industry Statistics Portal. This is a uh, great place to find raw data or basic um, information and data about each individual industries. Sometimes we forget about this uh, web page exists, but uh, when you want to find raw data, um, then Come to this web page and then do search. For instance, again, food processing I use. And then it gives different types of, maybe we should do a little more. Let's say food then instead. Oh, here it is. Now it shows <laughs> many different things, but let's see. Good. All right, so let's say fruits and vegetable, uh, can pickle and drying industry. Let's take a look. It gives us the next code and the definition section tells us what exactly are uh, covered within this specific industry and what are not co covered within this industry. And then, let's see. Economic data section is the section that gives us the each individual uh, raw data about this industry, such as number of business, business patterns, and uh, number of employees, revenue size, those types of information in tables when you click on each individual years. Or when we go to this visualization section about specific uh, 
uh, I'm sorry, the selected data or major data sections. It gives us a um, more infographic or uh, more visibly uh, approachable data types of thing. Yeah. So this is another good tool for finding information about specific industry. Again, all of these uh, links and uh, databases, uh, to, links to the websites uh, and databases that are helpful for, the, for your industry research are listed in under this business research guide or specifically industry research guide. So please go ahead and, and please uh, do your research uh, from this library's research guide. 